just want to put my head on a pillow and drift off. <sighs> Seems like the first day of our trailblazing expeditions is always pretty eventful, huh, Don Hung? <laughs> That's because you've got too much energy. mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Want to have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuffed with goose feathers. <laughs> March. Earlier in Klepoth Fort. Stop. I know what you're going to say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. But check it out. Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. That's... not what I was going to say. Alright, spit it out then. Earlier in Klepoth Fort... <sighs> were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. Nope. She seemed normal to me. She was kinda harsh at first. But she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. Although, it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm, I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Uh, do you have to put it like that? That's scary! Well, there's no way he'd get past Don Hung's sharp eyes. <laughs> Perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Mm. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow.
Time to ask for the bill. Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. Is there anything left to do?
It's 100% true. Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sights. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. Well, don't talk about it then. Let's get to bed early and save our energy. I sense the next few days could be tiring. Well, I'm off to my room then. Express lights off!
Did you hear that? There's a group of Silvermane guards at the entrance, and I don't think they're here to say hi. Uh, this is our escort. It's less friendly than I was expecting. Uh, I just have a feeling. Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. Hey, Commander Branya is waiting for you all down below. Hurry up and go see her. And no tricks. Are we in a lot of trouble? Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord in the Highest and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. As agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourselves against the accusations. Resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. We agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. This is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Hey, I'm improving. I'm not uh, coming up with a plan right now. And... Got one! Dunham, the alley! The one that's been sealed off. Hmm, it's possible. March. Be ready to make an escape. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. Three. 
three of a kind. Shh! It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? Two pair? Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace! to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed-off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Y yes ma'am. Eradicate all threats to Bellabog's security. That is what I must do. by surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. <laughs> Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. Troubling aura. Our instincts were correct.
say to repent? Don't hesitate. You couldn't have done it without me. when their passengers return safely.
could fight. Follow my charge. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! A foregone conclusion. This is also the reward of trailblazing. done it without me. Wait! There are still remain guards here. Careful not to alert them. They must have entered from another direction to cut us off. We should avoid an open conflict. Let's find another path. Wait! There we must have entered. We should avoid an open... there's any way to open this gate. Ooh, check this mechanism out. Look familiar? Yes. We saw one in Serval's workshop. We need to solve it before we run out of time. The guards are right on our heels. <laughs> that wasn't too difficult.
This will strengthen our position. Life and death. Reveal the sanctuary. It's but a vision. Break! You won't get away. Told you I could fight. Time for an overhaul. Fighting is meaningless. Get away. Told you I could fight. <laughs> Here. You can't run. I have something for you. Keep at it. Keep at it. Looks good. Interesting conflict. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. We won't get away. You couldn't have done it without me. here. Careful not to alert them. We should avoid an open conflict. Too late to repent. You won't get away. There's a monster in the area. We'll need to deal with it first. 
This is our chance. There's no time to lose. You couldn't have done it without me. later.
fighting is meaningless. My turn. to repent. Interesting conflict. dare underestimate me? <laughs> Even though it has suffered fragmentum corrosion, this is still part of Bellabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. Oh, you're such a nuisance! Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out 
here. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? The Madame Guardian investigated your backgrounds. She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. Huh, what a two-faced hag! Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender. We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Well, if there's no escape, then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine! to repent. Let's make it quick. Though it has suffered fragmentum, enough cat and mouse. Ah, oh, you're such a new. My orders are. You saw us yesterday. How can such a dr the Madam Guardy? She summoned me last night. Huh? What a t publicly insulting the. We're wasting our words, ma. Well, if there's no escape. Let's go. Time for an overhaul. Try that again. We won't get away. Tough luck running into me. Understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Hide with me. Move carefully. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Move carefully. Yeah. 
fighting is meaningless. My turn! Rules are made to be broken! You won't get away. Pretty strong. Hey, Don Hung! Maybe now's a good time to show off your secret strength? <sighs> you first. <sighs> You're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. Say, Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. They will suffer, sacrifice, and die because of my order. What about the Underworlders? They will lose the protection of the Architects. They will see me as a tyrant. You have Toys of yours aren't that dangerous. Uh, then why hasn't he woken up yet? Because he's sound asleep. Didn't you hear him sleep talking? Poor child. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Tell me the truth, Sampo. What are you gonna do about the Overworld girl? What am I gonna do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back, together with the rest of them, of course. I... Hey, come on, what's with the... You're a bad liar, Sampo Koski. What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze before I knew it I'd somehow dragged her down here too. What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? If it's a whole lot more attention from wildfire you want, you're going about it the right way. Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. These guys scratch my back? How could I live with myself if I didn't scratch theirs? And another thing, where does Wildfire get off? Assuming that these fine folks won't come in useful to them, huh? I mean, you never know. Which is why you've set them loose in the underground? Come on, accidents happen. I'll have them rounded up in no time. <sighs> that girl... Get her back as soon as possible, then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over ten years now. Uh, the children won't even remember what overgrounders look like. If a girl in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows up... What would Wildfire do with her? What would they do with you? Alright. I get it. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Hey, sleepyhead. Looks like you're awake.
How are you feeling? Any aches or pains? I hope you're joking. <laughs> That's either an interesting metaphor or you hit your head. Well, now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. Yes. Um, it's a place that's been sealed off and neglected by the Overgrounders for more than a decade. The Underground has none of the splendor of the surface. The people here dig tunnels and mine ore to make a living. Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making, so I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. So if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. Sampo just told me that you lost consciousness. He didn't say why. Still, I'll wager it had something to do with him. He's always tinkering with his devices. Anyway, the opinion of the clinic is that none of you have come to harm. Sampo told me. Don't worry, the Silvermane guards won't follow you below ground. We've been cut off from the surface for many years. <laughs> Even when things were at their worst down here, they never showed. Of course, I don't know the whole story behind why the Architects ordered the lockdown. Who knows? Thanks to you, they might finally be about to lift it. Something that Wildfire's wanted to achieve for a long time now. Oh, please, you needn't worry. You've just been asleep for a while. I barely had to lift a finger. I might have exaggerated your condition for Sampo's years, but that guy owes me. Better bring me back some medicine. They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Your rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. As for the girl in the Silvermane guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her. But it seems that he left his post and she made a run for it. Good question. <laughs> He's a man of mystery. He claims to be a simple cross-border businessman. Not that there's much to interest an overworlder down here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him, and he's been a big help to Wildfire. <clears throat> In any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground, but less stone-hearted. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. I gotta find March 7th and Dan Hung. But where should I start? The underground has been cut off from the surface for years. For you outsiders to descend on us out of nowhere is pretty incredible. Everything all right? You feeling okay? Ask away. <laughs> but I'm afraid I don't know a lot about him myself. A meticulously choreographed chance meeting. <laughs> Sampo is pretty good at orchestrating unexpected encounters, and he always leaves a lasting impression. According to him, that's the gift of a businessman. A meticulous according to him, that... <laughs> I hear that question a lot. Seems like he owes everyone something. That's why he never discloses his whereabouts. When people need him, he appears. And when people really need him, he disappears. Sampo's first and second laws of motion. <laughs> the underworld? Because we need Geomero. After Bellabog's construction, the demand for energy kept increasing. 
The eternal freeze prevented us from expanding outwards, so our only choice was to go down. The people answered the call of the architects and descended, excavating ore veins and establishing mines. Before we were sealed off, it was an honor to work underground. It was a choice. The pursuit of arduous labor for the survival of our entire civilization. It's never been good. <laughs> Conditions are tough both above and below the surface. The overworld is faced with the eternal freeze and fragmentum corrosion, and the underworld has to contend with hard labor, suffocating heat, and serious shortages. 
It's been over a decade since the Silvermane Guards withdrew from the Underworld, and the situation here has only gotten worse. The only contact we have is the exchange of Geomero for goods. And what's more, the Fragmentum Corrosion has begun to reach us down here, too. Um, I'm a doctor, not an informant. <laughs> Very well. What's the question? Wildfire is a volunteer grassroots organization. Like I said, you can think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground. They've taken on the duties of the Guards, maintain safety and order in the Underworld, and compete with Fragmentum Corrosion for living space. Wherever there is hardship and a cry for help, there is wildfire. <laughs> you can always find them. Okay, take care, and make sure you look after yourself. 